Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Today we are making another mini food. Mini food basically scaled down uh, like the opposite of giant food as well. Uh, foods the size of your tears. Uh, if you've missed any of the others to date, I think there's about 25 of them so far. There's a link to a playlist up here and down below. And also uh, one of the most recent ones we did, the mini cooked breakfast is on there. So perhaps after watching this one and you enjoy it, uh, head on over, grab the popcorn and check out the rest of the playlist. But today we're making mini pop tarts. Let's give it a go. As usual, the rules are very simple. Uh, by the end of the video, hopefully the mini food should fit on this fake Winnie the Pooh plate. Uh, it normally does, it works out quite well. Uh, as usual, it's not rehearsed in any way. We're just gonna go real time. Uh, a few little tools we've got today, my little hamper uh, full of mini food goodies and some sort of tools and that. I think we're ready to go. We need some short crust pastry. So this is a very small square of uh, ready-made short crust pastry. So you can buy those sheets in the stores, but it is a little too thick at the moment. So we're gonna use our mini rolling pin just to get it a teeny bit thinner. It still needs to be quite thick. We've got to hold our jam inside. I feel like I should have floured that surface just a little bit. There we go. And also this is moving too much. So I've got a little bit of damp kitchen towel there. That should help it a little bit. So let's, uh, Let's just roll it a teeny bit more again. There we go. All right. Just tidying this up a little bit because what I'm going to try and do is cut one long strip that will hopefully create two halves. Straight down here like so, using my scalpel knife. All right. So I'm just going to roll that out a teeny bit more. Okay, nice. And I think if I double that over on itself, roughly, that is about a Pop-Tart shape. So I'm going to use this line here. There you are, there's my little crease line. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so we've now got two relatively uh, even sized halves that we're going to bring together. So on this slightly smaller uh, Winnie the Pooh plate right here, that would really uh, start pushing the boundaries, is some strawberry jam. And I don't know what this tool is from uh, my sort of pedicure set. Whoa, that's gonna be too much. That's why I'm, I'm taking really small amounts. I just want a little bit. I'm gonna splodge it in the middle because we don't want it bursting out the sides of our Pop-Tart. There we go. I am happy with that. And to be honest, if it does burst out the sides, I don't think that's gonna be the end of the world. Uh, so now what we need to try and do is, I'm just gonna make this just a teeny bit bigger, the other half, is big brother. We're gonna get it on top, like so. Try and join the sides up as best we can. There we go. Nice. And then this tool, which I think I'm gonna to use to help uh, with my icing sugar in a bit as well. I'm just going to try and uh, just seal the edges. Dare I say it, that's starting to look pretty, uh, pretty cool. Nice. See that? That looks pretty good. And Pop-Tarts do tend to, before they go in the oven, get little piercings. So I'm going to use this bamboo skewer. Yeah, that is a, a standard piercing and not like getting your ear pierced or a nose pierced. So it's just to hopefully steam it. Just gonna do maybe four dots on it, like so. Let's get this in the oven. Normally uh, they'd go in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes, but I think we're gonna do it like 30 seconds. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a mini baking tray. Uh, well, one that's not a toy one anyway. So uh, we will just uh, use a standard one. And then if we just scoop this doo -doo 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 -doo, right on there, like so. Yes. I'm mulling over egg washing it, but at the same time, I think it'll be just fine. All right. So uh, in it goes. I genuinely have no idea how long that's gonna take. So I'm gonna keep my eye on it. I'm gonna say maybe two minutes. I'll let you know. So that gives me one minute to quickly try and make some icing for our Pop-Tart. So I've got some icing sugar uh, in my teacup. If I was feeling fancy, I could have uh, sieved it in as well. And then in my teapot, uh, just some H2O. So uh, mixy mix that together. I'm gonna keep Add in icing sugar until I get a nice thick paste. 
As it turns out, I needed a lot more icing sugar. I've just checked on the Pop-Tart. I've got a few more minutes. It's all coming together. I've got the icing at the consistency I'm after and the Pop-Tarts are actually in the oven for nearly the same amount of time as a standard size one. I didn't really think that would be the case, but let's get it out. There we go then folks, straight from the oven. That is our Pop-Tart. Let's finish it off. So we're gonna get some of our icing and just spoon it over the center. There we go. And for the finishing touch, here is a plate of hundreds and thousands, which I did actually knock over a minute ago. Don't know if there's any randomly on the counter. I've got some tweezers and I'm gonna do the painstaking job of placing colored balls of sugar, Ooh! if they wanna go in, to the top of our Pop-Tart. Good thing about using the tweezers, I can actually pick each color that I wanna sort of stick on here. <laughs> and hey presto, if I take this plate out of the way, I believe our Pop-Tart is all done. Let's get something for scale. So there's our Winnie the Pooh plate. Our Pop-Tart sits in like so. Amazing, could have gone a bit bigger actually. And uh, for reference, the Satsuma. Just a tiny little orange that is like overshadowing our mini Pop-Tart. Let's see what it tastes like. I am so excited for this one. None of the jam escaped either. Let's give it a try. Oh, just like the real thing. So there we are then folks, another mini food in the bag. Don't forget to check out the playlist of the other mini foods and also let me know down below any other mini food attempts you wanna see next. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun and I will see you very soon, I think. Bye.